A bizarre new twist in the search for three search and rescue dogs stolen in Carlsbad. As we've reported, those dogs were taken from a local doctor, allegedly by her ex-husband. We've now learned that ex-husband has quite the past that has made international headlines. It is almost too bizarre to believe. Hell, you know, my house is empty. It's been awful. Dr. Kim Lark has been searching for her search and rescue dogs, Felony, Storm and Zero, for nearly three weeks now. They were snatched along with her SUV from outside a hospice facility in Carlsbad where she has a weekly meeting. The man she saw take them, her ex-husband, John Green. I could see him backing up with my vehicle and he sped out of the parking lot. Turns out there's a lot more to John Green, or should we say Ted Marr. That's the name he used to be known by. And his relationship with Dr. Lark isn't the only one that's ended badly. Marr, an ex-Green Beret turned registered nurse, spent eight years in prison for the death of billionaire banker Edmund Safra. His penthouse in Monaco set on fire. Safra and a second nurse found asphyxiated in a locked bunker inside. The sole survivor, Ted Marr. It is a bizarre story that's been covered around the world by Vanity Fair, Forbes, 48 Hours, and Dateline. Rich banker killed. Marr's accused of intentionally setting that fire, not to kill Safra, but to gain favor with him. Marr found with stab wounds, police allege were self-inflicted in an effort to appear he was a hero, fighting off two masked intruders who police say never existed. Marr disputes that and has spent the years since his release trying to clear his name. He wrote a book and talked to Dateline. That's why I'm here before you today, to tell the truth. Somehow Marr made his way to Carlsbad, New Mexico as a crude oil truck driver, now named John Green. He met Dr. Kim Lark when he went in for treatment of a lesion. And then we started texting back and forth, and, and then we met later on, and that's just the way it started. Lark says she knew of Green's past and the so-called murder in Monaco. Yes, I did. And unfortunately, I believed his side of the story. After two years of marriage, things deteriorated. In April, Green is accused of forging Lark's and her parents' checks. Later that month, Lark filed for divorce. Then comes May 12th, the day of the dog napping. He's definitely very intelligent. Seems almost like he's, you know, one step ahead a lot of times. Carlsbad police have been trying to find him since. There was a possible sighting in Amarillo, but since, nothing. It's almost like he's a submarine right now, right? He's gone down. In the days since the dog napping, Lark did start going through Green's belongings and found something alarming, a box of rubber masks. And the only thing about that box of masks, I think, is what do people do with something like that? You know, something illegal. While Lark continues to discover more, her main focus remains finding her dogs, one of which would have given birth since being taken. They are with me 24-7. So, um, yes, I am afraid for them. And police continue their search for a man with such a bizarre story, it seems too bizarre to be true. A well, person like Mr. Mayor, a.k.a. John Green, is, is a person that is... Uh, you, you don't wash that type of behavior off in the shower. This other side of him that he's in some way suppressed. When it came alive or when it came to the surface, and I guess in some ways no turning back. Carlsbad police tell us they have reached out to other law enforcement in other states based on tips and the FBI is also helping. They say there is a lot to this story that they can't release yet. Dr. Lark, meanwhile, is offering a $50,000 reward for information that leads to the recovery of her dogs.